Not bad. It's affordable housing, what can I say? Really, how affordable? We're still negotiating that. You're not paying Sally any rent here? I'm going to. I'm insisting. Oh, I'm sure. That's quite the arrangement you've got going here. Yeah, it was working out quite well. Was? Something happened, Connor. What? You're not going to believe it when I tell you. Well, lay it on me. I got a little carried away the other night. Carried away? Well, I was down, vulnerable, and so was she. But we had a wonderful dinner. Uh, we danced. One thing led to another, and... And what? I kissed her. Wow. Why, well, she's getting over Thorn faster than I thought she would. Well, this is what you've been waiting for, right? What's the problem? Connor, I'm not talking about Macy. You're not. I'm talking about Sally. So how are you doing? There. Still hurting over Thorn? I'm hurting in a lot of ways, actually. I'm here for you. Do you know that? I know. I know. And I, I really appreciate it. I mean it. I mean, if you're having trouble at night, you know, you could just give me a call and we could make some popcorn and rent some videos <laughs> or something. I might take you up on that. Unless you'd like to spend your evening with someone else. <sighs> I know a certain young man who would die at the chance to come to your house. I can't do that. Why not? I can't do that, Karen. I've got to stay away from Anthony. Macy, he really likes you. I, I think that maybe he's in love with you. You know, I don't I don't want to talk about Anthony, all right? How are things with Connor, huh? About the same. Don't you think it's time you opened up to him? About what? About everything. About your pregnancy. About the fact that you're worried that he doesn't care about you. Karen, if you're not careful, you're going to really lose that man. Well, maybe I already have lost him. Don't say that. Take it from me. If you don't go after him, if you don't fight for him and make a stand, then things can really get messed up. What would I be fighting for? A relationship. A relationship? With a man who skips town when he thinks his girlfriend's pregnant? You're not pregnant. But he doesn't know that. So you're indicting him on the basis of a lie? I'm not indicting him on the basis of anything. I mean, I, Connor can do whatever he wants. He can stay, he can go. It's not that, it's just that... I thought he was someone else, you know, someone different. I'm just disappointed. I thought he was the one. You know? The love of my life. <laughs> Silly me, huh? Damn it, where the hell is she? Taylor. Hello? Rich? Hi, it's Brooke. Oh, Brooke. How are things going with you? Uh, not so good. Well, they would be if you were here in Paris. You wouldn't believe the excitement. Forrester is a huge hit over here. Yeah, you're having a good time, huh? Not nearly as good as I could be. So what's the problem? You and Taylor still going at it? No, I, uh, I wish that were the problem. Well, then what is it? She disappeared, Logan. I haven't seen Taylor since the night you left L.A.
Tell me. What could you do? Let me see it. No, no. no let me see it. Still gone? Yes. What kind of game is she playing? Look, Logan, I really don't want to get into it. Did you call James Warwick? Yeah, he's not around either. Ridge, I really hate to bring you down, but I think it's time for a reality check. You left for Paris. At least Taylor thought you left, and then she immediately leaves, as does Dr. Warwick. Connect the dots. You know, Logan, if that were the case, I'd actually be relieved. Relieved? At least I know she wasn't in danger. Now, why would you think that Taylor was in danger? I don't know. Just a lot of weird stuff going on these days with the earthquake, the bad weather. I'm sure she'll get in touch with you soon. Yeah, that's what I've been telling myself the last two days. Did you call up at the cabin? Now uh, the lines are out. That was the center of the earthquake, you know. Why'd you ask about the cabin? <sighs> I don't know. It's just a thought. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Look, I should probably keep these uh, phone lines open here. Yeah. Ridge, why don't you let me know what happens, OK? I hope you find her. Thanks, Logan. Bye-bye. I can't believe that Connor Davis is walking out on you. Oh, he's not walking out on me. He's flying out on me as fast as he can. I caught him making reservations. Of course, he tried to lie about it. It was really pathetic. It was embarrassing. Well, so call him on it. What for? I don't even know if I want him around, the way he's treated me. I know I brought this all on myself by pretending that I was pregnant, but I have learned something. I'm a short-term gig for him. I mean, that's how he sees me. And that's not what I want to be. I thought he loved me. I thought we were heading towards something permanent. It's my own fault, really. I misread everything. Oh, well. I'll get over it. I will get over it. Wait a minute, you're talking about you and Sally, Spectra. Yeah. Having dinner and dancing and kissing Macy's mother? Yeah, right. And I'm next in line to the throne. <laughs> this is a joke. You're putting me on, right? It's no joke. You're serious. 
Look, Macy had just broke it off with me. She was going back to Thorn. So you come home and hit on her mother? It didn't happen that way. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Look, Sally and I are friends, OK? We're close. I confide in her. Connor, she's a good person. She's got a lot of heart, and she's got a lot of class, too. Oh, so why not get involved with her? <laughs> Look, that's not what I'm saying. We aren't involved. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, Macy is still the one. Does Sally know you feel this way? No. Does Macy know about you and her mother? Of course not. A word of advice, OK, my friend? Break it off between you and Sally quick, like yesterday. I'm going to try and do that. You're going to try? What the hell do you mean you're going to try to do that? It's not as simple as it sounds. Yes, it is. You go to her and you say, Sally, look, we're friends. I like you, but it doesn't go further than that, and it won't. But it already has. That was a fluke. You were down. You said so. And Sally happened to be there, right? Or am I putting words in your mouth? I don't know. You don't know? Look, Anthony, pal, this is simple. Are you becoming involved with Sally Spectre, yes or no? Look, look, Connor, Macy wants nothing to do with me. I tried talking to her last night. It went Listen nowhere. Listen to me. I'm not asking you about Macy. What I want to know is, do you have honest feelings for her mother? Because it's beginning to sound like you do. You do. Uh, look, look, uh, what, what did you want me to do before? What? On the phone, you asked me to do you a favor. Oh, yeah, uh, these. What are those? Yeah, letters for you and Macy, uh, Darla, Saul, Kevin, Keith, and of course, Sally. What kind of letters? Uh, just deliver them for me, will you please? Are you going somewhere? What makes you say that? There's this rumor. Sally Spectra. Anthony, you are a piece of work. I just wanted to get some more clothes. You've lost a lot of blood, James. Put the blanket on. Uh, I'm sorry. No. Oh. Put the blanket on you, not on me. No, I'm all right. You gotta keep warm. Put the blanket on you, Taylor. Go. Why are you so worried about me? You're the one who needs help. Blood volume is dangerously low, James. There's nothing we can do about that. You need a transfusion. It's got to be replaced. Do you want to call room service? That isn't funny. Taylor, my dear. A laugh may be all I have left. Don't talk like that. I can't move. Be a problem pretty soon. I know. My darling Taylor. One of us is gonna make it out of here alive. It's not going to be me. You got them all out of there. Right, the entire North Slope. We evacuated everyone. No, we medevaced her to the hospital. That's next on the list. I got everyone out there. Hell yeah, I can use more manpower. Uh, what, what can I say? It's a, it's a mess. Stay in touch. What do you want? My name is Ridge Forrester. I've got to get to my cabin. Need to get to your cabin. That's right. Mr. Forrester, your cabin's out on Valley View. 
And the bridge is out. I know. There's no way I can get you over there. What about the Forest Service Road? It's gone. The whole ridge collapsed. Okay, then I'll hike it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you won't. Officer, I've got to get up there. The mountain is unstable. Look, I got enough trouble. I don't need to be rescuing you. You listen to me. My wife might be in that cabin. Now, I'm going up there, officer, with or without your help. I'm not going to let you die. My dying has nothing to do with you. I'm going to get help. Hey, I've lost a lot of blood. We're both doctors. We know what that means. ways to go. Please don't joke about this. Oh, I maybe only have an hour left. What would you rather I did? Lose myself in the pain? I can spare you the lecture of what to do when I'm gone. The important thing is that you survive. And you will. There's plenty of food. You should only be here for another day or two. Oh my God, James. You wouldn't even be here if you weren't trying to do this for me. Oh, yes, my love. For you. I swear to you, it was worth it. I can't think of a more meaningful way to die. You've done so much good in this life. That's why I have so few regrets. Well, only one, but it's hardly worth mentioning that. Tell me, do you think a man my age who happens to be a virgin gets buried in white? Oh, Jay. Joking. To have known the love of a woman like you. She would have been a very, very lucky woman. I've dreamt of touching a woman like that. So soft. So supple. My beautiful Taylor, my angel, I feel your life, I can feel your warmth. We're going to get through this, James. 